what's up youtube and welcome back to our channel meet the teats my name is melissa thank you so much for clicking on this video while you're here go ahead and like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to our channel so today is friday it is faith driven friday y'all it's friday yeah it's Friday. One of my favorite days of the week, Friday. Um, not because it's the end of the week, uh, because it is Faith Driven Friday and I get to dive in with the Word of God with you guys and talk about how good God is. So without any further ado, let's head to the video. <sighs> Take two. So, I'm back. Like. I know you guys don't know that I ever went anywhere, but the first recording got messed up somehow. You know, I'm determined to get this content out to you guys because it encouraged me so much. It's so crazy because Faith Driven Fridays be like a struggle. Like it be so much happening on Fridays, like mishaps, stuff going crazy going haywire when it's time for me to record and edit and upload but i'm back i'm re-recording and i don't care because i know that i'm supposed to get this content out to you guys so that's exactly what i'm going to do so now without any further ado let's get into this video so chris and i we have been um reading this book and it's daily devotions and it's called draw the circle 40 day prayer challenge and here it is right here this is the book here uh, draw the circle 40 day prayer challenge it's by mark batterson if you are looking to up your prayer life step your game up in your prayer life this right here is a great start. 40 days of diving in the word of God, 40 days of daily encouragement to help you boost and jumpstart your prayer life. This book has blessed me so much, but day 20, okay? Day 20, y'all, I'm telling you, day 20 was so good. So day 20, the title of the devotion is go set ready now we're probably used to hearing ready set go but this is go set ready most people including me spend their entire lives getting ready okay um preparing for what's coming next in life but the truth is we'll never be ready You'll never be financially ready, emotionally ready, or spiritually ready. And then we spend most of our time making sure that we have enough. But we'll never have enough time, we'll never have enough money, uh, we'll never have enough support, enough courage, enough strength, we'll never have enough. But most people spend most of their lives getting ready, trying to have enough. The thing is, if we had enough, if we on our own strength were able to um, be ready and to have enough of what we need to survive on a daily basis and to do what God has called us to do, then that means we wouldn't need to ever rely on God. Now, I looked up the definition of ready and it means completely prepared, all together, all your ducks in a row, you got your life together. You got your life completely together. Now, I thought about that. Okay, when was there a time in my life where I was completely prepared? Has there ever been a time in your life where you were completely prepared. You had all your ducks in a row. Everything was in order. You were lacking nothing. You were absolutely 100% completely ready and prepared. I'll wait. No, the answer is no. Because there's no way that you can be completely prepared, that you can be completely ready. 
because there's always more preparation that we can do. There's always more that we can learn. There's always more that we can know. There's always more that we can do in every single area in our lives. So there's no way that we are ready. Now, there's this guy named Abraham. I don't know, you might know who he is. You maybe not. But this guy, Abraham, God told him to go. Now, I'm gonna read you Hebrews 11.8. It says, by faith, okay? I love that it starts off by faith. I love that. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed God. So first he obeyed God and went, then he went, even though he did not know where he was going. So Abraham was told to go somewhere, but he had no idea where he was going. Now I got a question. Did that stop Abraham from going, to taking that first step of faith and going? No, it did not. Now I got another question. What first step do you need to take on your journey? Or what next step do you need to take on your journey? If you take the first step, God will reveal the next step and the next step and the next step and the next step. But it takes you to take that first step, that first step of faith. That's why it says, go set ready. Because when we go and when we do what is what God has called us to do, he will lay the path down. He will set the path so straight so that when you get there, you will be ready to do what God has called you to do. I read something else in this book that blew my mind. Blew my mind, y'all. Here's what it said. Now, I heard this quote before, but I mean, it really didn't like, like hit me like hit me for real i really didn't like i've heard this quote before but it really didn't like blow my mind like i read it in this book okay and you might have heard this before god does not call the qualified he qualifies the called y'all listen to me when i first read that I was like, what? Listen, that is such good news. You don't understand, you don't understand how many times I felt unqualified or how many times I felt like, man, I just, I just don't have it. Like, I just don't got it. I don't have this, I'm not this enough. I don't have this, but I don't know how to do this, but maybe somebody else can do this better than me. You know, all these things that will replay and replay and replay in my head. And then to read that God doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the called. Listen to me, listen, when I read that, I'm telling you, something inside of me, it stirred up. It stirred all the way up. So good, so encouraging. You know, it just lets me know that I don't have to have it all together all the time. You know, like where I lack, God picks up the pieces and he just makes everything work together. All of my insecurities, all the things that I'm not so good at, God fills in where I lack. If you know that God has called you to do something, go somewhere, whatever it is, whatever it is in your life, and you feel like you're not good enough, or you feel like you're not qualified enough, or if you feel like because of your past, it's going to hinder your future, Remember that God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. If you think about the people around him, they didn't have themselves all together, okay? Uh, they were people, his disciples, they were people who just were just regular average Joe people. He didn't call the most, um, 
scholarly or the most uh, prestigious people to be in his corner, to follow him and to be his disciples. He called the ones who were not so qualified. And he can do the same thing for you. If God has called you to go, if God has, if God has called you to do it, do it. Take that first step. Take that first step. Abraham, he was faith driven when he took that, when he went and he didn't know where he was going. He was being faith driven. So you take that first step. Go. If God has called you to go, go. Do what God has called you to do and trust that he will set the path down so straight, so clear that when you get on that path, he will give you the next step and the next step and the next step and you will be ready to do what God has called you to do. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really pray that this blessed you like it blessed me. And if you have not checked out our last video of our uh, our story of how we moved from one state to another, go ahead and check that out. Um, it's about us having extreme faith. I know that it will bless you. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.